Apple's iPhone 5C seems to do well through a scratch test. Almost half a dozen Nokia devices get leaked codenames. And believe it or not, LG still thinks you want a curated keyboard on your device. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I don't just look tired, trust me, I mean, you should be filming this video for me, and it'll be nice. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some interesting news. We all complain about the fact that there has never been one iPhone that has passed the scratch test. And as it turns out, it seems that the iPhone 5C's chassis, you know, that plastic back has been taken to the test. And apparently it passed the test so well that the phone didn't really have any scratches from the usual wear and tear. Now, it's still hard to know if this phone is real. I mean, I still look at that case and I still think that that looks just like a snap-on case for an iPhone 5, but stay tuned, let's see how that goes. Now let's move over to Nokia as for those of you wondering how many products Nokia is planning to launch in the next coming months, well we just got some leaked codenames and the number goes up to 12. That's a lot and there are so many names I'm not going to bore you, links in the description for full details on all these Orion and Constellation names that you'll find there, but if these rumors are true we'll probably be seeing some of these phones for this holiday season, so if the Lumia 1020 is already out this can only mean good news. Now let's focus on LG, and I mean focus a lot. For those of you that are wondering if the company will ever bring a tablet to the market, well, it just stopped by the FCC already, and you bet, it's the, the G-Pad. The LG G-Pad. Uh, anyways, well, we still don't have specifics on, you know, what specifications we'll get on this thing, but judging by the fact that LG builds the displays for pretty much almost every Apple product in the market, we are expecting a fabulous display on this device, so stay tuned and let's see what we get. And speaking of LG, as I told you, we focused a lot on it. An executive from Europe just came on record to state three interesting things. First of all, the G-Pad, which we already know about from the previous segment. Second of all, those of you wondering when we'll see a Windows phone from LG, well, apparently we will be getting one in the next coming months, and even a Firefox phone probably by early next year. But even more interesting, apparently they are working hard on bringing us another smartwatch. Remember, we already reviewed one years ago, which was terrible. But this one brings the flexible display that we talked about yesterday, so if you were wondering what that was for, that's the answer. And finally, for the nostalgic news of the day, Verizon and LG have teamed up to bring the LG in Act. And no, I'm not saying that you act just yet, because this phone brings specifications that only a mother could love. WBGA display, 5 megapixel camera, and the only reason why that phone has made it to the final segment of this video is because it brings a slide-out Curity keyboard. I can't remember the last time that I saw that thing in the last couple of years, so anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. I mean, would you still want Curity keyboards on your smartphones, especially Android smartphones? Is that really a feature that you're looking forward to? And is that a feature that you'd actually have to put up with low specifications just to get the keyboard? In my particular case, I think I moved on years ago. I love Curity keyboards, but I, you know, I moved on. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow.